In this video today, I'm going to teach you how to get Linux desktop in any Android devices. Well, how about boxes like X96, Z+, Plus, T95, or maybe you have an MSQ Pro. Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get a second life one of these boxes. This will become now a little computer running Linux desktop right now. Hey, how we doing? This is Dario from MediaBox ENT. And if this is the first time you are on MediaBox ENT, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the <coughs> notification bell so you'll be the first to get my super video. So like I said at the beginning, I'm going to teach you how to get these boxes or any Android device, even in a form, but get it installed like Ubuntu or Linux Arc or many other installations we can do in these little devices. And the nice thing, you can still use your Android operating system and you can switch off and now you have Linux on it. You can use it for practice if you want to ever know how Linux looks and maybe you want to use it to practice or you want to use it to run uh, any other programs like an office program or run any terminal. And the nice thing, we can actually use uh, PNC Viewer to connect remote so you can be on another desktop and do and execute anything from the terminal or the only requirement is a keyboard and a mouse. I'm going to leave you a link in the video if you're interested to learn about keyboards and mouse. Connect it, and now you got a second computer to play around. It's a nice, I would say, give you a shot because it's real cool, and it's a nice thing if you try to learn Linux. And if you don't have a Raspberry Pi, maybe this is a way to go. So I'm going to teach you right now, and it's pretty simple. You just follow my steps. Okay, so we got run in the back. Actually, it's in a Pro X to Air. Anything we can run actually uh, MSQ Pro, we can run any other type of boxes, okay, or any Android. Just this, I use that as example for the, my video, okay. So, uh, what we need to do first, we need to go into the Play Store, okay, and we need to download three three softwares. The first one is PC Box, okay, you're gonna click on it, it's already installed in my case. You're gonna click install. You don't need even to open this thing. Forget about it. Forget that you install this. You install it. You leave it there where it is. Okay. The next thing we need to get. Okay. It's VNC Viewer. Okay. And I just saw it right there. VNC Viewer. Okay. Right over here. You click on it. You install, and that's it for now. And you lean your next program. As the Linux. Okay deploy okay that's the next one you need you need to install linear deploy so right right over here you install it done okay so when we have that done we naturally we're gonna go into main screen whatever you have your applications it depends yours maybe looks different okay so the next thing we're gonna execute VNC viewer so one we are in the VNC viewer we're gonna click right there we're gonna type this local host okay that local host 5900 name of the computer whatever you want we call it test one what is nice about this now if you try and connect lock I mean from a desktop that you need to know the IP address of the device let's say this box you can type over here go into your desktop and you can actually log in to one of these boxes or like I'm doing right now, local. That's, that's that will be the way to do it too. So I'm going to create an account, and it's done. We leave it right there. Also, if you have an account with uh, BNC, you can log in and create an account. And so if you are on your desktop computer, you can see all your boxes, and you can like, get remote from anywhere. Okay, so we have that done. All right, guys. I just switched box because the other one was in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the English version. I guess it's the same thing. Okay, so actually we're going to go into applications. Okay, we're going to execute the Linux deploy. Okay. Okay, so at this point, okay, we're going to click downloads. Okay. Download, we're going to choose the distribution. In my case, I like to use, if you want to, you can use something else. That's nice things you can keep changing or trying something. Our Linux, you can try something else. We're going to leave it right there. Our next configuration is save the username and password. Password, I preset already. Uh, pass, okay. Comes with some numbers that make it easy to me for understand. And the, on the, make sure, you know, it's always root. Oh, 
the username here of this Android. I'm going to change that to to root. Okay, we got that root. Okay, the next change it. We need to activate the GUI interface. By default, it's off. Okay, so you got to go click here, activate. I'm going to activate SSH2, and then then right over here. You're going to choose what type of desktop you like to use. In my case, I'm going to change. I'm going to use the mate. So, and also here are the settings for the GUI interface. Depends on the display. Maybe you need to make changes, but you're going to leave this as default, and then you can make changes if you think it doesn't look too good. So you always can change this back. So we're going to leave it where it is. Okay. Where we're done, we move forward and right there. And then right over here, we go here, and we're going to click install we click install there we put okay right there we grant access okay and that's it we should start up in a second that's it begins now at this point guys i'd recommend you maybe want to take coffee have a beer because it takes about maybe 50 minutes or 10 minutes so we got a little bit let us, let us sit on it so we can actually cut the video so we don't need to spend a lot of time and I'm going to show you what they are the next steps all right it finished you see right over here this is deploy so we know it finished at this point okay so we're gonna click star okay right there we put okay wait It's done. It's started. So now it's working in the background. So what we need to do, we're going to quit this. Not quit, but actually change the screen. Go leave it out. Work in the background. And go to my applications. And we're going to start VNC Viewer. That's what I said to you. You can either start VNC Viewer from remote side or start it locally. But you want it locally. So we click right here. Okay. We wait. Okay, that's the one I already create. We click on it. All right, we put OK there. Remember, we call it pass. Put OK. And that's it, guys. Check that out. I right, take this thing down. Okay. Look at this thing. It's running beautiful. Look. Let me let me quit the tick in the background so we can look better. Okay right there we can actually now uh, this make that disappear okay now let's look so you can run many application everything's running perfect okay you have here you can run multiple desktop up to four different desktop so what we're gonna do now let me show you how to install some of the applications okay so let's run the terminal, all right? I remember what the terminal was uh, somewhere over here, right over here. Okay, so we need to install like a Firefox. So we need a browser. So we're gonna type sudo, or always you gotta type sudo, right? A P T line, and we're gonna do get install, and we're gonna install the Firefox E C E W E A. So hit there. Okay. Let's install it right now. We're gonna have to put some yes. Alright, our next installation. Sudo apt get install. I will leave all this on the description of the video. We can install the office package. Okay. Alright, so finally it's down, so let's check. All right. So let's look first the Firefox. Right there. Hey, okay, and we got it. Look, now we're running Firefox. And let's check the Office package too. All right. And we got it running. LibreOffice 5. And that's it. What do you think? It's running perfect. Let's, let's run Word document. So click on it. It's a little slow because this one, uh, the MSQ Pro, 
it's a little slower machine to start off um, but the purpose of the video works perfect just to show you practically we can run this anywhere let's click on it all right so what do you think that was perfect right we did give a second chance to a lot of these boxes i'm sure if you got one of these boxes running around you can choose uh, to install Linux on it. It's pretty good. You can run terminal program. Go to practice. If you don't have a Raspberry Pi, that will be the way to go. So you can run little programs and keep a little life by putting a keyboard and a mouse. Now you have a, another computer. And leave a comment and let me know where you're going to be installing the Linux. All right? And I'll see you next time. Bye. So that's it. So we go like this. Oh, my God. All right. So we go like this. M, okay, M9C Mac. M9C Max. You have an M9C Max and you want to learn how to configure this box? Check this video now.